Hi, everybody. David Truss with PPA, along with PPA President Jeff Dachowski. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing today? Great, David. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. We have some exciting things to talk about. And to do that, we need our PPA Director of Credentialing, Rich Newell. Rich oversees both of our certification program and our merit image review, the brand new merit image review, which is just underway. We're excited to talk about that some and our new international photographic competition. Pretty exciting, Rich. There's a lot going on. Yes. It has been a little busy this past uh, year or so. Been a little busy for more than a year or so, actually. So uh, international photographic competition sounds a lot like the previous international photographic competition, but we promised that we would talk to you guys about this in February. As you recall, back last fall, we introduced and talked about the new merit image review and said that February was going to be the very first one of those. So that's underway now. And we're excited to talk a little bit about that. But uh, but then also we promised you at the time saying that, that we didn't want to announce two major projects at the same time. We promised that we would announce uh, the details about the new international photographic competition in February, which is reason we're here right now. And we have a lot of exciting things to talk about rich this is uh this has been quite an undertaking and jeff from the board of directors perspective you know we've been sitting on pins and needles with you guys staff has been with all of you on the board of directors excited about finally being able to talk about this yeah it's one of the, the questions i had most at imaging usa where a member would say i'm so i'm really excited for the the merit image review but what's going on with the ipc i really want to know what's happening with the new ipc and so I am, I'm super thrilled to tell you that uh, we've wrapped up our first round of the merit image review. And uh, even for February, we had over 500 entries. Uh, so that was pretty exciting to be a part of that. So uh, for all those who entered, thank you so much. And then I know we already have uh, uh, entries rolling in for our March uh, merit image review as well. So great job staff uh, for putting that all together and a great job to all you members who are sending us images to review. So uh, we let's talk about, uh, by the way, let's talk about how, uh, are you happy with where things are with the new Merit Image Review? I realize we're only in the first month. Are you guys excited about that? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we, we're, we're kicking it off. It, it's, you know, it's, it really is. It's a new, it, it's the old judgment, but in a, in a way that, that members um, can enter at their own pace. Uh, the, we've designed some new software, which makes the, the process much simpler. Merits are going out much quicker, uh, so I think it's been great all the way around. I, I, it's, uh, you know, when you look at it, it's on pace to be bigger than the initial one, the previous one was, and and that's huge considering it's the very first month, right? And so, we we see this is only getting bigger and bigger. But we did want to address the issue of competition, and we feel like we've got a really great, uh, you know, opportunity and a great solution for that with a new revamped international photographic competition. So let's talk about that. Let's kind of look at some of the, uh, the overview. And first of all, and, and Rich, I want you to sort of walk us through all of that, but the objectives, let's just talk for a second about the objectives because um, uh, that of course, Jeff was, is, was the board of directors vision and desire to sort of create something bigger and different. So the objectives of the competition that's a, we're about to unfold first was to create a competition. Uh, we're competing is not secondary to the main event. Rich, what, what are we talking about when we say that? Because that's well, always yeah, the, the case, actually. Yeah, the yeah. old IPC was, was to earn your merits and earn your degrees and, and all that. And then the awards were, were kind of um, a side effect of that. We would pick the best images after we got done reviewing for, um, for merit. Um, so we were restricted a little bit about you know uh, the the judging process and all of that to keep the the integrity of the merit intact. Well, now that we have taken the merit out of competition, um, it opens a few doors and uh, gives us some more opportunity to to be uh, to create a true competition as opposed to a merit review with the awards on the side. Yeah, and and I think and Jeff and I, I know that you feel that way as well. That we're sort of taking the chains off, right? We're we're not we're not inhibited inhibited by anything now. We can create a full fledged real competition, uh, you know, a powerful competition just for those who want to compete, enjoy competing. Yeah, I agree. I think it's fan I I love it because there's a certain segment of our membership who are looking to earn their degrees and change 
and get better at their craft. And that, that Merit Image Review is obviously the place to go for your Imaging Excellence Award and the things that go with that. And then there's a group of our members who really love the thrill of competition, that they, they love it. And because we separated the two, we could kind of redream and re-envision what this could look like. And that's why I'm so excited to talk about this today, because this is a, a re-envisioning of how we can serve our members by giving them a really great marketable material from this competition. Which merit review or the merit judging. And we want to give it, the second thing is we want to give it a much higher profile within the association and the industry. So look, if man, if you're going to do this competition, let's do it big, let's do it right or not do it at all. And so we want to create a, a you know, a, a giant competition to give it very high profile position inside the association and in the industry as a whole. And then of course, it's sort of at the top of the list, at the bottom of the list, all around the list is the idea of just creating some fun and excitement and having a lot of fun doing something different. And and I feel like what we're about to show you is it is different. I, you know, we've been involved with a lot of different organizations and are very familiar with them all over the world. Actually, nobody's doing this. I think um, you guys agree with that. I think this is different. What we're about to introduce. Yeah, I would agree. I, no one's doing the, the way this new competition is coming. And yet we've still maintained some some of the the monikers and terms that we've used that people have come to love so i can't wait to, to talk about this uh, i I'm, i don't want to jump the gun david so i'm gonna stop talking so you can talk hey you're the president you can jump any gun you want but <laughs> but it is true we we wanted to keep some of the familiar terms although in some ways they they mean or stand for different things but rich why don't you kind of talk to us about how it works all right let's kind of go through the process on how this is going to work Okay, so um, like you can see on your screen, entries will, will open July 11th. Uh, um, we will have 16 different categories and, and we'll be posting that information uh, up on the website and more details on those categories. But you can enter as many images in any category um, that you would like. Um, those images will be kind of, it's uh, to put it in terms that you may be familiar with, we're going to use more of a, a World Cup style of of preliminary judging, because what we are gonna do is put a numeric value on each of the images that are entered um, from zero to 100. They will be judged on in four different categories uh, at 25 points apiece. So those categories will be impact, technical excellence, composition, and style. So the each image has a potential to, to get 100 points. We'll take that point value and the top 32 images in each of the categories will be put into a bracket. Um, and then we go into what's really fun is this, the, the, the bracket rounds from rounds of 32 down to one will be a head-to-head -head judging. So it is a true competition, one image against another. Let's talk about the categories for just a second. How, how are we deciding what the categories are? And of course, I know the answer to this question, but and are those categories fixed completely forever? Well, again, we, we, we took a long look at what are popular areas of photography uh, throughout the industry. Um, and so we, we selected 16 that we feel that reflect what our members uh, create. Um, so with that said, there is, there is categories that will change. Um, we have one category that is a yearly theme. This year, um, it, is, it is group photography. Um, but again, we're going to, we'll push out all the, all the different categories, but you know, you're going to see the portrait categories. You're going to see, you know, children's categories, uh, wedding categories. There's something for everybody. Um, there's a commercial category, uh, as well. So, uh, we want everybody to have somewhere to, to, to put their images in. Now, you know, 16... just... yeah, please, Jeff. Sorry. I was going to just add David that the, that group of 32, that first group of 32 will actually be no matter what the scores are 32 different members okay because uh, the way it works is that the you might let's say i enter let's say someone enters five images within uh one category well only your highest scoring image will move up to the group of 32 if it's in the top so if you have five images that happen to be in the top 32 your highest scoring image will move forward and make you know room for four other members 
to compete in that group of 32. So it's a great way to get 32 people and 32 members involved. That's a great right. point. Yeah, that's Absolutely. a great point. Go ahead, Rich. I'm sorry. No, I mean, and yeah, so so the, the most you can have in any one category is, is one image in the round of 32, but you could have multiple images in different, or a, an image right. in different categories. So, right. I mean, you could have a, a portrait and a commercial uh, image in, in the, those final rounds. So, but you are limited to one image per category in the round of 32. Okay, so the preliminary round, it's a score judging, it's online, it's all virtual and and uh, and the goal there is to take 312 images in one category and narrow that down to 32. 175 images in another category, narrow that down to 32. The point is when we're done with the preliminary round, there will be 32 images in every category and those are going to Imaging USA, Rich. Absolutely. So yeah, that process will take us a few weeks, but we'll make that announcement uh, in November. So going into IUSA, we will know what the 514 images uh, will be that will go head to head at Imaging USA. So, but once we're there, um, this is again, uh, I'll let Jeff jump in a little bit on this, but we're going to have a live event uh, at Imaging USA this year. Yeah, finally, uh, we, finally, we will have a live event to watch at Imaging USA with a thousand of your friends. I mean, it's going to be a head to head, it's going to be awesome. And I imagine people will be cheering when they see someone's image go. It's going to be a lot different than our traditional judging, uh, which is like when you go to the Vatican, silencio. You know, people will say, silence, please. Like, I think this is going to be uh, kind of a, a big event that people will be cheering about. And I've been wanting to go watch uh, image competition at Imaging USA as part of my education, if you will, part of also part of my fun, because I'm a competitor at heart, at Imaging. And this is going to happen on that Saturday. Uh, so I know that when people start getting their plane uh, tickets, they're going to make sure they come either late, either Friday night or early Saturday morning so they can see the head to head judging live. So, Rich, pick a, a category for discussion purposes. Let's just do that. Give, give me a category. Um, let's do portrait, for instance. Okay. Okay, good. Easy, easy choice. So, portrait category, we have 32 head to head competitors coming into Imaging USA in the portrait category. They are in the round of 32. By the way, they've already earned, by, by being in the round of 32, they're automatically, at, as a minimum, a bronze level category, right? They're, they're already at the bronze level. Right. So, everybody that makes the round uh, of 32 have, have already earned uh, recognition. So as the images progress through the process, that recognition will change. But at the point where they're at the round of 32, everybody's a winner at that point. And what happens What happens there at imaging? How does that work? So again, the, the images will be put in random order into, if you're familiar with uh, March Madness, the, a bracket um, uh, where your image, uh, if, you're, if you're entering, say, the portrait category, your image will go head to head against another image. The jurors that are they're, they're making these decisions will see both images and they will pick their favorite. The winner moves on to the next level. And that continues from 32 down to one in each of those categories. So we'll go from a round of 32 bronze medal to a round, there'll be 16 left. So that's the round of 16. And that yeah, is the silver, 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 level. silver level. And then they're going to go to a round of eight. And, and those that's are gold. Gonna, those will be the gold level, and then that's going to be uh, go down to a round of four, which are the platinum, yeah. and that's the platinum, and and then those four are on hold. So we're holding those. We've done that in the portrait category, and then they pick another category, and we're going to get down to four in another category. This is all going to happen on Saturday. All categories will be down to four by Saturday. Yes. So we'll we'll take sixteen categories and whittle them down um, throughout the day on Saturday to get to the final four, um, which we will we will be looking at uh, in the ceremony on Monday. Right, so on Monday night, what happens? Everyone gets back together. This is the same uh, night that we traditionally have our Grand Imaging Awards in, right? And so we're, yeah, we're repurposing yeah. that time spot. Yeah, so that, you know, the, uh, again, this is kind of the, the culmination of all the work that happens on Saturday will be showcased um, Monday night, uh, where we will take the final four in each of the 16 categories and narrow those down to a winner. The winner in each of those categories um, 
will be the diamond photographer of the year for that category and receive a, a check for $1,000. Um, from there, we will take those 16 winners and narrow them down to, to uh, from 16 to eight to four, then two, and then an overall grand imaging winner. And we've been we've been calling that working title the championship round because all of these are champions. They're all the the diamond photographer of the year in their categories. You have 16 of those. And so you have eight head to head and then four head to head and then two head to head. And uh, and then one emerges as the grand imaging award winner. And what does that person get? Jeff, would you like to make that announcement? Yeah, they get a hearty congratulations from the chairman of the board <laughs> with a check for ten thousand dollars. Uh, so, so and a trophy, the, by the way, and, and, a, and trophy. a trophy. Yeah. So, I mean, this is—it's just so much fun, Rich. And I mean, it's just—it's to go from the preliminaries, however many, and narrow it to thirty-two, and then live show and all day long, basically on Saturday at Imaging USA, and then. And then the final fours for each category yeah. on Monday. I mean, this is just going to be a blast. It's going to be high energy. It's going to have a host, an announcer, the judges on stage, the video, the images up on the screens, reactions from the crowd. I mean, this is it's going to be fun. This is this is as exciting as as you know we could make it. So basically, it's it's what what for years as as in the old system that that. You know the the judges would all go into a separate room and they would pick trophies. This is this is live trophy judging, uh, where all the images that are involved are great images. This can be hard to judge. I'm going to tell you the I, I do not envy the the people that they'll be on stage making these selections because you know you you've got thirty you're starting with thirty two gorgeous images and you've got to you've got to narrow it down um, and then we talking about they'll go hey you know why why did you pick this one over this one um, so they're you're gonna you're gonna learn a lot. Um, but you're going to see some beautiful images. Um, and then, you know, somebody's going to win 10 grand, uh, which is exciting in itself. And I, I'd like to add too, Rich, that ultimately what happens, like you pick the portrait category, you know, in the in the round of 16, it's 16 portraits going against to the head to head. It's not going to be a commercial, uh, you know, a beautifully lit gun, a composite, three children's portraits and a restoration trying to determine who the winner of the the round of eight is, right? It's portraits against portraits. It's a true competition. And the only time it's going to come down to a children's portrait versus a high school senior portrait or a landscape or something along those lines will be in that final, that final platinum level to, to get to the diamond, the diamond uh, round. Yeah. So, so yeah. Th yeah. To, to clarify. Yeah. So, so the only time that category category winners uh, go head to head against other category is to pick the overall GIA winner, um, the overall uh, competition winner. And and again, this is you know we're we're going to see a lot of beautiful images. We're going to see a great discussion. Um, but you know we're going to have fun with this. You know the we've we've taken the merit portion out of this competition to and and that allows us to. Um, to be more frank, I guess, um, and and tell people what they like, what we don't like, you know, and and to have a good time with this. So it will be entertaining. You'll see some beautiful images, and at the end of the day, you know, somebody's going to win a lot of money. And that's Which really the entire objective, right? It's it's the, you know to let to not just the money, but I mean just to be entertaining, have fun with it, celebrate images at Imaging USA, and 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 have a lot of fun and a lot of energy. I yeah. I can see this being the talk of dinner at everyone's dinner that night, right? On Saturday night and, and on Sunday, I can see this being the talk of the show. It's This is gonna be a lot of fun. Sorry, Jeff, you were gonna- you were Yeah, gonna no, I was gonna ask a question. I get asked all the time and I just thought I'd ask it for here is, hey, what images can people enter? Like what's eligible to, to enter this year? Does it need to merit first? I know, I know the answer, of course. Can images from past years that were entered and maybe went imaging excellence, can you enter an old Grand Imaging Award finalist? Can you talk about that for a minute? I know it's going to come up. Oh, absolutely. Um, now that we can talk about it, again, I was the same thing. <laughs> the, the biggest question I got at, at Imaging this year is, hey, what's going on with IPC? Uh, I was like, you know, give me until February. So now we're talking about it. So, so yeah, I mean, can you can you enter IPC or Merit Image Review images into IPC? Absolutely. Um, and if you're 
a competitor like me, I would I would take the opportunity of the merit image review to to get some feedback on those images before I put it in uh, for IPC. But you don't have to enter into merit image review to enter into IPC. Um, the only restrictions that we are that we put on this is past um, um, IPC. So everything has to be a new image as of this IPC. So what we really don't want to see happen is something, a grand imaging award from three years ago entered into the new IPC and winning. We want fresh images starting this year. Um, you can enter this year into marriage image review, um, but anything that has merited prior to 2023 will not be eligible um, for the, uh, the new IPC. So we're moving forward starting this year um, and that's just to get everybody on an even playing field. Um, there are other restrictions as far as um, this. Yeah, uh, currently, we're not going to uh, have you know, the members of the board entering, um, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, really, those are the only restrictions. You can, if you've never entered an image into to IPC before, now's your time. Throw one image in, see how it does. Throw 10 images in, see how they do, however you want to do it. Well, this is so exciting, Rich, because it's only being judged in the preliminary round by four things, right? Like, it's yeah. not the 12 elements of a merit image. It's the four elements of an IPC image, right? So it's a bit more coarse. But the cool thing is, is that people may experiment with different things that maybe have high impact, high technical excellence, but maybe they don't want to put a presentation on it like we do, like we see in WPC. So they, I think we're going to see a lot of images that people have been you know, having in their back pocket that they've been waiting for just this sort of competition to enter. I'm, I can't yeah, wait exactly. to see what they said. Yeah, this, this is, a, we're, we're trying to be much more open about the images that, that we take in for this. And it's, it's not a particular style of images that we're looking for. We do categorize them because you have to have the category winners, but you know, the, there are so many categories, there's some place for every image. Um, and, and it's just a matter of, of putting it in the category that you think is best. Okay, so once again, they can start entering images on July 11th? 11th. Yeah. July 11th. So, so, so start working on your images, um, getting them ready. And then July 11th is when that will, uh, will, that will open up. And then the first, the preliminary judging, will be in September. And then you'll know if your image is going to, uh, to Imaging USA to be, to be brought up on the big screen and and to go head to head with other images i mean it makes me smile because it just is going to be a lot of fun to uh to watch this unfold it, it is i mean this is I've, I've been sitting here with a dumb grin on my face the whole time just because I, i'm a competitor and this makes me excited i mean this is if you if you like competing with images um and you want to see how your images stack up against the best image makers this is this is really your opportunity to see where you stand you know, and as a separate thing, you guys are infinitely more qualified to speak on this than I am. But but I have heard time and time again that participating, for instance, in the Merit Image Review, MIR, um, you know, it makes you a better photographer because you're learning and growing. But that also the competition is going to will push your, your people will be pushing themselves to do well in the competition. It, it will also help them photographers improve their photography. Yes. Yes. I totally, I, I agree 100%. The biggest thing I think is exciting about it is that it allows the, these members, much like the MI, MIR did, to step out of the box of what people say maybe is that PPA look, right? There's 12 elements of a merit image, but in this case, you can have images that are super high impact that maybe didn't have the other elements. So now a photographer can try different things. There's no limit to the amount of entries they can put in across the categories, uh, whether it's they want to enter five different categories or into one category to see which one scores the best. And it's exciting. And I think they're going to learn from it. And the ability to uh, actually go head to head where two with a group of the panel of jurors are going to actually say, I like this one better because of this, this, that, and this. And we're not going behind the scenes trying to put two children's, I mean, two, two things that are similar and look together. It's going to be random. And so it'll be really fascinating to see what the jurors have to say about it, uh, because it, it, there will be no two two competitions ever the same. Yeah. I'm excited. And, and when we say random, it's actually random. We're building that system so that these images are just going to pop up randomly. There's no way of knowing who's going to go 
against who in, in one exactly of those so once images are put in the bracket each each round they get reshuffled so it's not like a traditional bracket where you know the the they're they're seated so it's not number one the highest scoring image against the lowest scoring image eventually the goal is to get them down to the best image and, and the cream always does rise to the top um but uh but each round they get shuffled and they go right back at it and and the you know, half get eliminated, half move on. So. All right. So some of the terminology is the same. International photographic competition, bronze, silver, gold, you know, platinum and diamond. You know, the, those those are all familiar terms, but this is a very different event. And we're super Absolutely. excited. We're super excited about introducing this uh, February 11th. Any last words, Rich? No, it's just, um, again, it's, some things you're going to be familiar with. Um, um, again, some of those terms are still the same, but uh, the the head-to-head -head competition is really going to be exciting to watch. And last words, Mr. Jachowski. Well, as I said earlier, I am so excited to see this live, like because I'm a big fan of the image review, and I have been I've been waiting for this sort of thing. I can walk into a room and see two images go head to head and see a, a victor i just can't even i hope that we're going to see a thousand or two thousand people watching what is so important to us as image makers which is the imagery absolutely all right rich newell director of credentialing and ppa president jeff jachowski jachowski i get it right jeff you jeff jachowski and and uh september uh, Pe july 11th everybody and then september is the first judging so we're excited. Get those entries in. Until then, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.